G'day and welcome to episode 82 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean and this is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures. I'd like to welcome both new and returning viewers to the podcast, but if you are new, I would love it if you take just a few moments to say hi in the comments so we all know we have a new friend. Come see what I've been working on, what I've completed, and maybe some hints on what's coming up in the works. So let's go ahead and get started with our works in progress. I got quite a bit done this week. There was a lot of preparation work, so it doesn't look as, like as much as sometimes, but I still think I did quite a good job. The first part of the week was dedicated to a t-shirt quilt. When I first got it, I thought it was going to be a lap size quilt for 15 to 20 shirts, and when I opened up the box, it was closer to 40, and the person I'm making it for wanted it to be a little bit bigger, so yeah, we're, we're making it work. And I've got all the t-shirts cut out, all the panels are made, all the sashing is cut, so now we get to do the fun part, which is the assembly. So I'll just give you a quick overview of one of the panels. I'm using a two inch border on one side, and then in between each one, you can't really see it too well, but it's a 1.25. I like the thinner sashing here, and the um, lilac was the color that they chose, and I think, it's, I think it looks really, really neat on this. And so I did that. And then the other project that is a work in progress is one you haven't seen for a while, and that is the Hunter Star. And you would have, if anyone watching the live yesterday would have seen it all, part of it already, I did this part. And then I did two more as well afterwards. I love the pink and the white together. And let me just show you the design. I love this Alice in Glass fabric. And then I also did black and, it's almost like a black and gold. So anyone from the Pittsburgh area would definitely think this is neat. And so the completed block will look like so. These are the same colors, just in a different order. As before, I'll pull it back a little bit so you guys can see. And this is good. the one I'm constructing right now is um, block seven of eight. So we're getting very close to finishing this quilt top, which is really, really neat. So that's what I have right now for works in progress, but I still have a bunch more stuff to show you, so don't run away. But now let's move on to our weekend review. And if you're new to the channel, this is the series of videos I've put to get clips um, that I put together during the week, mostly me sewing, but also some of the doggos. Um, you may even see the turtle once in a while, and anything else we get up to, so I hope you enjoy. Last week I asked everybody what their favorite movies from the 80s were, and I love seeing all the responses. Um, Back to the Future is probably my favorite movie series from the 80s, even though I know the last two were shot in 1990, 1991, but who's counting? Uh, the Goonies was gr um, another great option. Uh, Breakfast Club was very popular and so forth. I just loved hearing all the answers, and I'm going to check out some of the ones that I haven't seen yet. So this week we'll go back to sewing a little bit, and I'm curious, how do you store your projects? Um, and your flimsies, which is a term that I borrowed from Fallon over at So Be A Quilt. I love that name for a um, quilt top that hasn't been quilted yet. But how do you store them? I have a, like a, I'll put a picture up of my like little 12 drawer system. And that's where I keep most of my projects. And I I really love that. But I think for different spaces and different people, diff different things work. So I'd love to hear how you store yours. And a lot of my flimsies actually live on a drying rack. I've found that's been a really great way for me to store my projects as well. So now it is time to talk about my goals, and I have a couple of goals this week. The first one is I'd like to cut out the final block for The Wizard of Oz, which is the winged monkey. This thing is looking a little sad and empty right now with all the clips and the, the labels, so I'll go, I'd like to go ahead and get that cut. 
there's like 150 some pieces I think in that so it's going to take me a little while to get that done um, I'd like to get some more progress done on the t-shirt quilt um, as I mentioned earlier we we're actually in the construction stage and that tends to go pretty quickly because all the hard work's been done on that already and then I'd also like to get some work to finish that hunter star block I'm three quarters of the way done I just need to put these few pieces together so that shouldn't take too long at all so I'm hoping to get most if not all of that done this week at all possible I'd love to hear what you guys are doing this week as your goals so in case you missed it I had one video come out this week and that was my live with, with Brecky of the guy who sews I had my good friend Danny join me from so not an expert we just sat down and chatted and had a great time for about an hour and a half and it was really fun and if you haven't checked out her channel, definitely go over and check it out. We're trying to get her as close to 500 subscribers as we can. I think at the time of um, recording, she was about 480. So if you haven't checked out her channel, I definitely think you should. I think it'll be a lot of fun for you. So upcoming videos and events. The first one is I am going to be a guest on Handmade by Ying with Donna tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We are launching a fun collab that, that the two of us are doing together. I don't want to um, spill the tea on this, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you're really going to enjoy that one. So definitely head over there and um, check me, check us out tomorrow evening. And then I also plan on releasing a time-lapse video of the Toto Block. Um, I did one for the Wicked Witch a couple weeks ago, and it was a lot of fun. And I decided that I want to do the same thing for Toto. So that'll be coming out later in the week. And then this Saturday morning, I'm going to have my good friend Russ from Quilt Meets World. If you remember, he was on the channel a couple of months ago, and our live got cut short due to electricity issues on my end. So we're doing a redo, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to catch up with Russ and see what he's up to. And hopefully he gets his air conditioning back between here and there, because he's had that issue for a little while. One of my favorite things to do as a child, each year I look forward to going to the show, which is what you would call in the US and Canada, I guess, a carnival or a fair. And it was always a lot of fun. And that is the theme for this this season's Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt. And I've talked about it a few times before. But if you don't know what I'm referring to, definitely check out the link in the description below. It's a lot of fun. All the fabric is pre-cut. So it just gets shipped to your door every month for 10 months. Although if you prepay for the whole thing, you do get it um, all up front. There's a bunch of different colorways to choose from. I am doing Bomb Pop, which is a, the red, white, and blue. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to doing my, you know, sharing the first clue with everybody, sewing it um, on a live. And that'll that'll either be this week or next, depending on when the clues um, arrive at my doorstep. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely do so. I think it's be a lot of fun, and I'd love for you to join me on that. Many of you may know, and a lot of you guys are um, active members of this, but I do host a quilt online quilt guild for anyone that is interested and our next meeting will be next Sunday the 30th of July at 8 p.m. Eastern so if you have been interested definitely come and check it out um, on the discord group or if you can't get on there for whatever reason send me an email the guy who sews at gmail.com I'll get you um, get you the link so that way you can join us and just remember if you just want to come and check it out and you don't want to you know chat or anything else like that you're not required to that that is not an issue at all um, so hope to see you there so now I'm really excited to be able to share with you one of my finished blocks, and this is Toto, which is from the So Place Like Home, the Wizard of Oz theme quilt that I've been making. This is block eight of nine. Well, it's actually block nine of nine, but I've skipped eight. Um, so this is the eighth block that I've made, and I'm super excited to show you this one. So let's take a look and see how Toto turned out. So that's his head, and then that's his body, and then I'll zoom him in a little bit so you can get a closer look. Now some of these parts here are one inch half square triangles unfinished so these things are tiny um they actually went together quicker and easier than i thought um because i did you know we had the same size blocks in the scarecrow block which we did quite some time ago so um, a lot of pieces for this tiny little block but it turned out so cute let me know what you think and so that is pretty much it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the episode, please hit that like button. It helps me immensely. And I always love hearing comments from my um, viewers. So I read each one. I reply to them as quickly as I can. Some weeks are quicker than others. But yeah, I definitely read them all. So thank you so much for supporting me. It's been a great, great week. And I hope you had a great week too. And we'll see you on the next video. Have, happy sewing. Bye.